In this video, you will learn how entrepreneurs make their elevator pitches stronger by using their voice, body language, and eye contact. In this video, we will not look at what they say in a pitch. Instead, we will look at how they say it. How speakers use their voice, body language, and eye contact all play an important part in helping people understand and remember an elevator pitch. Let's start with voice. Entrepreneurs can use their voice to stress important words in their pitch. Remember that stress makes words sound louder, longer, and higher pitch. Specifically, it's a good idea to stress the intensifiers. The intensifiers are the words much, very, and even. Let's look more closely at three sentences from a pitch for best bicycle delivery service. I'll say each sentence twice. The first time, I will not use much word stress. The second time, I'll put a lot of stress on the intensifier. Our service is very easy to use. Our service is very easy to use. We deliver important packages seven days a week even in heavy traffic. We deliver important packages seven days a week, even in heavy traffic. It's much faster than a delivery truck. It's much faster than a delivery truck. Do you hear the difference? In addition to voice, an entrepreneur's body, hands, and eyes are important for communicating their message. These types of body language and eye contact can be very different depending on your culture. In North America, people expect entrepreneurs to be trustworthy, which means that people will believe the message and feel comfortable investing with the business. People also expect entrepreneurs to appear confident, which means that the entrepreneur looks certain that the business will succeed. Here are three ways that North American entrepreneurs show that they are trustworthy and confident. First, they use their hands and arms to make gestures while they speak. They do not put their hands in their pockets. In North American culture, people may think that hands in pockets means someone is too relaxed or informal. Similarly negative, People may also think that hands in pockets means someone is hiding something because they will not show their hands. Second, entrepreneurs in North America try to smile a little. Research shows that a small smile means someone is trustworthy. Third, entrepreneurs look directly into people's eyes. If an entrepreneur is talking to more than one person, he or she tries to look at each person equally. If an entrepreneur is making a video, he or she looks straight into the camera. Then the audience will feel like the entrepreneur is looking at them. These behaviors communicate trustworthiness and confidence in the North American business culture. Is it the same in your culture? Is it okay to make direct eye contact and smile at people you don't know well? Or is there another way to show that you are friendly and trustworthy? In this video, we discussed how word stress, body language, and eye contact can help make an entrepreneur's pitch stronger and more persuasive. 